What's going on riders? Ty and Mike from North Cove Baggers. Today we're going to talk about our latest install to our motorcycles. We installed the Advan Black Switchback LED lower leg fairing lights. The reason we went with them, more visibility up front. They're called the Switchback to have a crystal clear LED run light for day and night when you're going down the road. Then they also incorporated your amber turn signal, which you see here. And also, if you need, your hazard lights. That's right. You know, you want to obviously add some flair to your motorcycle, but adding function is even better. These things really increase the visibility of your motorcycle, make you that more easy to see from other cars, other vehicles that are out there, try to keep you a little bit safer. Advan Black has made these things as easy as possible to install. We're going to walk you through that process in this video. So easy, even Ty and I could do it. So we're going to show you how to get these installed. As far as wiring goes, it's simple plug and play couple zip ties to tie up your wires and it's done. So we're going to walk you through that process right now. These are available from advanblack.com or your local Advan Black dealer. This is the box that comes in. Let's see what we got in here. You have a Advan Black thank you card with a QR code reader. It takes you to their social media sites. You have the Installation instructions, bag with some zip ties, wire connectors, and everything you need for that. And here is the actual light. Guys, just to make it easier to show you what we're doing, we went ahead and popped off the lower fairing. You do not have to do that. You can install these right on the bike. It's really easy. We're just doing this to show you what we're going to do. The first thing is we're going to remove this panel right here. If you have a body panel tool, you can find these basically at any parts store. If you don't have this, you could use a screwdriver. If you do, I would suggest putting some tape around it just so you don't mar the plastic. Anyway, just bring this right in here, pry gently, and that'll come right up. Panel comes out nice and easy. Next thing you're going to want to do is in the back, there's a panel back here. We already pre-loosened these. There's two uh, bolts that are a T27. So we're going to go ahead and remove those right now. We're working on the left fairing, so once we've got the panels off, you're going to go, and go ahead and find the left light. If you're not sure, they've even gone and marked it for you. We've got the L for left. Anyway, you'll see the six tabs, and they correspond to the six slots where your original filler panel uh, had gone through. So what you're going to do is take your wire, go ahead and unravel it, straighten it out, and anyway, your wire is going to go through the inner lower most slot. So you're just going to slide that through just like that. Once you've got your wires through, you're simply going to go ahead and slide those in that slot. You can fold it right over and click it in. Once you have your wire through, we can go ahead and insert the back panel back on and then tighten down your bolts. Once you have your back panel on, you're going to bring your wire across and where it's going to meet with your front frame rail to run up. What we like to do is right here, there's slots on this uh, support post and I like to put a little mini zip tie on each side just the way it holds that nice and steady. Once you've got your wire routed here, you're going to go ahead and use the included zip ties to tie it 
to your front frame reel. What we then did too was bring it up behind and you have a wire harness that's running through here and there's already a nice uh, uh, housing. You can run this right through there and then we'll also tie it off to this wire bundle which will keep it nice and secure. To get your turn signal housings off on my bike, which is a 19 Street Glide Special, you need a half inch ratchet or a wrench. Once you have them loosened, to take them off by hand, they come off real easy. The housing slides out. And what you want to do is disconnect on this side right here. Simple push down, it pulls right out, the housing's disconnected. Next, you want to do, you can want to remove your, your outer fairing. To do this on the 19s and actually the 2014s up, there is four bolts on the inside, two on each side. If you look right here, right underneath your mirror on the street glide is one, and then down here by your turn signal where that was is another one. I like to take off the inside bolts first before I take out your outer windshield mount bolts. This way you get all these off and your fairing stays put. On the newer bikes, you're gonna realize or notice that some of your inner fairing bolts here, one is shorter and one is longer. The longer one is the one that goes right below the mirror. Just remember that when you're taking these off not to get them mixed up. Once you remove the four inner bolts that hold the outer fairing on, you come out to the front here. Now I already went ahead and took off the two outside bolts. The reason I do that is the center still holding your fairing on. It's not gonna go anywhere. Once you loosen up the center one, all you need to do a couple turns and your windshield pops right out. Most windshields for these bikes are half moon, they slide in and out. Set that off to the side. Taking this off, it, this is not a hard job to do. Some people get freaked out. As long as you hold your fairing with one hand, that bolt comes out. Again, this is also a longer bolt than the two side ones. Now I have a light bar up here. That's just gonna sit up out of the way for right now. Your fairing comes forward. We put a towel down on the fender, just kind of holds it. Disconnect your headlight. Now I do have an aftermarket headlight. Check it for another video on that one day. Now your fairing is off. You can store it safely out of the way. What you're gonna end up doing is just pull your turn signal wiring harness out from the side and again, Ty has a lighted uh, windshield piece of trim, but either way, this was hooked up like this, and this is what came out to the turn signal. We're simply gonna disconnect that, and we're gonna add this in between. So take your male end, insert it into the female end there. This side is gonna hook up right here. You're gonna take your wire from the switchback light, and that's gonna go in just like this. And then we can go ahead and put this back out through the small hole that's in here and that's gonna to connect to your turn signal. So before we tie everything up and get everything secure, we're gonna put this through, we're gonna hook it up and we're gonna do a function check. We've got the light hooked up. I'm just gonna finger tighten these bolts. Again, no need to uh, batten down all the hatches if we find that something's not gonna work. So we're gonna turn it on. We've got a light. And we've got a switch back light. We're going to go ahead and check the turn signal function. All right, we're going to do the same thing to the other side. We've inserted the wire harness just the same as we did on the right hand side. We're going to go ahead and run this back through the hole and uh, we'll do another function check. We've got a light. We've got turn signal function. At this point, what we want to go ahead and do is you're going to have some extra wire here. This kit works for both the street glide like we have, but also the road glide. So you've got enough room for whatever bike you're working on. We're going to go ahead and tie up the extra. We are going to leave just a little bit of extra slack. That way, when your fork is turning full uh, lock, both right and left, that nothing's getting pulled too tight. We'll wrap these up then, we'll tuck these back in here and we'll show you how to get the front fairing back on. Now you've done a function test, you have to remember what you have to do yet. 
you have to put your fairing back on. Again, grab that center long bolt. Don't forget to plug back in your headlight. We went ahead and did that already. So without, this just sets up in here like so. Put that center bolt in for right now, just to hold it. Now you can make sure everything is lined up underneath. There is a weather strip down here. Make sure that's gonna sit in real good. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Everything's lining up. Now I have to put my lighted trim bar back on, but I just like to set that in there to make sure everything is kosher and we're good to go. Reinsert that center bolt. You can finger tight it for right now and you're good. Your fairing's not gonna go anywhere. It won't fall off. You have your two side bolts. I recommend you do not crank these tight. You do have to wiggle the uh, fairing around a little bit to line up the holes on the inside. So you can just put these in very loose for right now until you get the centers in. Okay, once you get the one side done, same thing on the other side. You don't have to crank these super, super tight. They just have to be snug. Let's move our bars here so we can get in there. Again, I don't crank them super, super tight, make them snug and just a pinch more. A good Harley pre-trip before you do any kind of ride. Just take your uh, T25 and go over them, make sure they're all tight. Now you can come back up here. You can put your windshield back in. If you have a bike with windshield bags, you can reinsert all that stuff. Now is when you can tighten down your front ones. Well, thanks for checking in on how we installed our Advan Black Switchback Lower Leg LED fairing lights. I hope uh, answer some questions. And if you're checking out the channel to see if you're interested in getting them, um, reach out to us, give us a call. That's right. We are Advan Black dealers. We'd like to get a set of these lights into your hands or anything else that Advan Black offers. In the meantime, make sure you check out the rest of the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, even NorthcoBaggers.com. Guys, until next time, be safe. And let's go ride.